What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. Today we're going to be going over my at-home crypto mining operation. If you guys are interested in that, let's do it. All right, so for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. My name's Chum Change XD, and this is my CPU mining wall, or at least the start of it that we began about six months ago when Raptorium was popping off and nobody was building CPU mining rigs. So I have plans to carry this all the way across at some point and have about 20 of these on the wall. Currently, you can see we have seven of them. They are just full bore mining Raptorium. I haven't stopped since I started and these things have just been cranking away, more or less just collecting Raptorium. I'm using the Ryzen 9 3900X. I have one Ryzen 5 2600X that was just laying around that I wasn't really utilizing, so I decided to throw that on a board as well. But most of these motherboards I actually got from like Newegg bundles or just traded other people for other things, so that works out. Uh, Midnight Miner actually gave me a couple of these, so huge shout out to him, he's a good dude. Currently, I'm not into building any more CPU mining rigs, which is why I stopped. It's just not as profitable like I just mentioned. At some point, I will carry this project along, but right now we're focusing on GPU mining and Ethereum, as you guys know. So this is my box wall. I have boxes literally everywhere. I have some mini Doge miners. I have A2000 boxes down here. And uh, yeah, we need to get downstairs so I can show you guys my grow tent and go over this 130 GPU operation that I have at my house. Let's do it. All right, so right here, this is my main PC and this is where all the magic happens when I stream. Over here I have more or less just the table that I work on stuff. The lighting's kind of terrible right now. I actually got to install some lights above. This right here is my 3080 hybrid that I just can't find a home for because I just put all of these cards that were on this rig inside an Octominer. So if you guys haven't seen that, go check out that video. This right here is a riseless motherboard that I also had a rig running on the floor actually in front of the grow tent which you guys will see in a second and I have all of this mineral oil right here. I'm going to be throwing this riseless motherboard in that fish tank and I'm going to be putting a RX 570 4 gigabyte on this thing completely bare bones. I'm just going to take off the PCB, so the, the cooler and the uh, radiator right there, and then this huge heat sink on the back, all coming off. It's going to be a bare card sitting here, and then I'm probably going to try to hunt down some older cards and get them all in a liquid cooled tank. I think it would be a pretty cool idea, but either way, also over here we have a 3090 water block. This is a front water block with an active back plate as you guys can see. So I'm gonna be water blocking another one of these units. As you guys just saw my 3090 in that PC, I'm gonna be taking, same thing, active backplate and water block to put on that at a slower pace on video for you guys. So that's gonna be in the next upcoming days. Stay tuned for that. And I'm super excited to get this entire rig built up in that PC. All right, so here it is, full operation. As you can see, I have this thing loaded to the max. I have two server cases in here, and I have nine, three on each row, 12 GPU sluice mining frames, and a lot of these frames have 13 cards on them, which is insane. So let's go over, I guess, we'll start top to bottom, if that makes sense. So right here, this is a 1660 Ti rig. This has one 1660 Super on it, but the other ones are all 1660 Ti amps. They're Zotac cards, and these things have not failed me. They work great. Actually, all three of these rigs right here on the top rack are all 1660s. So each one of these rigs get about 400 mega hash a piece. Overall, these were the first things I actually purchased, and I'm super proud of them. They're literally kicking butt. So this one right here in the middle, this is a Ventus OC Super and Amp Supers on this rig. Then right here we have the Plain Jane 1660s. These are actually the TI versions, but again, they are Plain Jane and there's a few supers mixed in there. That Plain Jane that I'm talking about is more or less the no back. So this rig right here, this is my full 6600 XT rig. You guys actually saw me build this in a video. If you haven't, go check out that. This rig right here is actually super efficient. It gets right around 380 mega hash under a thousand watts. It is fantastic. 12 GPU, 6600 XT rig. 
right here we have the worst rig on the planet <laughs> this is my zotac twin edge white edition i have 10 cards on this rig on the top i have the 3070s and on the bottom i have the version 1 3060s there is actually a very cool bracket that i'm actually going to be ripping off all of these uh front cases and building some 3d bracketed fans on these so i'm super excited for that stay tuned for that video as well so this rig entirely is getting right around 440 mega hash so not too bad i mean it's really unfortunate about the fans sucking but it is what it is now we have this rig right here this is kind of a hodgepodge like mix match rig so i have three of the wife's cards on here she has uh, two of the uh, KO 3070s, they're LHR, then she has a non-LHR 3070 MSI gaming trio. I have two 3060 Ti gaming trios, non-LHR. I have another 3070 Ti Amp Hollow that is a LHR. And then down here we have five 1660 Supers, the PNY versions that are only single fans. And those things have been BIOS modded and they actually do 35 to 36 mega hash per card absolutely phenomenal if you guys haven't seen that video i do have a bios modding video for that just pay attention to it and make sure you save your original bios if you're going to give it a shot all together this rig has about 480 mega hash 150 of that is the wife's and 300 and like 25 330 of it is mine so that's pretty uh pretty cool and then we have down here this is my rx 580 armor edition rig along with my 5600 and 5700 XT rigs. These are the mech versions and they're a total pain in the butt. They get way too hot. These RX 580s have been a champ since day one. I bought them super cheap on eBay. This is way back when, uh, right at the beginning of 2020. So, working amazing. So this rig right here is right around 440 mega hash and yeah, I mean, it's running stable as hell. So, super pumped about that. Right here, this is my RTX A2000 rig. These cards are super hard to get. They run pretty hot, but Ethereum, not too bad. They are basically mini blower style cards. This rig gets 550 mega hash. I have one A4000 and 12 A2000s on here. And this is my by far most efficient rig that I have, right alongside the 6600 XT rig. Then, Lastly, we have our last hodgepodge rig, which is more or less 3060 Ti's, 1660 Supers, 3060 LHRs, and a couple 3070s. So yeah, this is uh, this rig's kind of all over the place, but you know what? It is uh, cranking away. It's the only one that doesn't have a screen on it. I actually do have one. I just need to build it up. And we also have my one 2080 right here hanging on the uh, the wire rack. That's actually from my used purchase of a mining rig. That is my only 20 series card that I've ever had. This entire thing is pulling 550 mega hash on Ethereum. And we're actually dual mining Alethium on this. And we're getting just about a giga hash there. And then we're doing about 60 souls on flux. So that's pretty neat. We do have the two server cases here. So I have my For The Win 3 cards in here. If you can't see all the RGB throwing up inside this thing which is amazing and I have some 5700 XT's in here as well this rig is in the Octominer X8 Ultra case I do have a full review video of that and of the X12 if you guys haven't seen those go check them out I'll leave them at the end of this video this rig right here is also dual mining Alethium we have about 470 mega hash on Ethereum on this Octominer with one card missing still and then we also have about a giga hash on Alethium, which is awesome. And then down here, we have my 12 RX 580 MK2 GPUs. There is 12 of them in there, and we're getting right around 375 mega hash, which is amazing. Those RX 580s I purchased used off of eBay, and honestly, it was a pretty good decision because I got them for $169 a piece, and it was totally worth it. All right, I need to get this thing closed back up because these cars are starting to get hot. All right, so now last but not least, we're gonna look at my mini Doge miners. So this is one of them, and I actually just got this one from Gold Shell. Just arrived from DHL the other day, so I still have it powered up down here and plugged into this ethernet cable. Why don't we bring this upstairs, we'll get it plugged in, and we will uh, put it with the other ones. 
All right, so now we're upstairs at my attic grow tent. And as you can see, these are my six mini Doge miners. I have them all running off of this 1600 watt P2 PSU pulling just under 1500 watts. I think it's like 1450 or something. So pretty high draw on that actual PSU, but it's working fine. I have no problem with it. These more or less mine LTC in a dual mine Doge. So payouts on these roughly every two days, I'm getting 0.02 to 0.03 LTC on my four mini Doges. And I'm also getting 50 Dogecoin every two days from just these four machines. Obviously that means the wife would be getting what, 0.1 to 0.2 LTC and then roughly 25 Dogecoin with two of these mini Doge miners. More or less, that's what I have for this operation and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Just before I let you guys go, I wanted to let you know for the month of March, we're going to be partnering up with the Meter Box company. They're actually going to be giving away an 8 GPU server case on my channel, which is amazing. It's going to be decked out with 2400 watts of server PSUs, going to have a full 8 GPU riserless motherboard, and literally everything you need except for the GPUs to start your own mining rig. So that's amazing in itself. Purchasing these meter boxes, every $5 you spend on their website, you get one entry. But if you purchase the chump green color, you guys literally get double the amount of entries that you would normally. And not to mention, I do have a 10% discount code. It is chump. I will leave it down in the pinned comment and in the description below. You guys must use the link that is in either of those to actually get entered into this contest. But hopefully you guys enjoy that. As always, if you haven't already, please go down here, hit this like button, don't forget to subscribe, and if you guys haven't seen this video or this video, please go check them out, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.